Hi, I'm Jay Leno. We're on the set of my uh, new show. It's the modestly called the Jay Leno Show here in the States. And we've built a racetrack behind the studio. We have this uh, Ford Focus. This is one of the European rally cars. Ford has converted to an electric drivetrain. And we're going to have celebrities drive around a track and see who the fastest green celebrity is. And uh, I even got a proper Englishman to help me, Justin Bell. Justin, how are you? I'm you all here. know Justin's credits. Uh, I don't even have to go over. Well, you can go over some of your credits. Go ahead. Give him some credit. Le Mans, uh, 24 hour winner, FIA GT, and uh, the World Championship for Dodge. That's right. So, which led me perfectly for 600 horsepower to this. Being an electric car, it's got a lot of torque. And I would say it's probably as fast as the gas equivalents around this short course because of the low end yeah. torque. So, so it, it'll go pretty quickly. Our track is only 1,100 feet, so we do two laps, so it's 2,200 feet. But it's not quite finished. What we're doing, because it's a green car challenge, there'll be certain obstacles that you don't have in the European version. Like if you hit Al Gore, you'll lose points. Before we go around the track, let's have a quick look at the car. It appears to be a standard uh, Ford Focus, but it has the uh, rally suspension system set up in it. Well, the first thing you notice, you get in and you, you press the button and you start, you press power, and you don't hear anything because it's electric. You have your energy usage meter right there, uh, and you have a speedometer, no tachometer, don't need it, and it's eerily quiet. I mean, it, it is so quiet. In fact, all you hear is the tire screeching. But this, I think, is the future. You know, I think you'll save your gas cars for the weekends, you know? And when you commute around London or in the city, you'll use an electric car like this. And look, you can actually get away from the police. Oh, sorry. It's a bit heavier in the back because you're carrying uh, an extra 300 pounds worth of batteries. You forget after a while there's no gasoline. I feel like I'm in a miniature golf course with all the greenery. Tom Cruise called me the other day and he said he wants to have a go. He asked if he'd come in and practice. I said, no, no practicing, that's cheating. Uh, we have Drew Barrymore. Uh, I mean, uh, whoever you can think of, I think, will want to do this. And of course, being a green car, uh, this way, celebrities can save the world and sort of race at the same time. I think Cruz will do pretty well. Tom is pretty competitive. Uh, whenever we have something, he always uh, just tries a little extra hard to, uh, to kick my ass. I think we're going to get a lot of athletes as well, and athletes being athletes are naturally can usually adapt to this kind of environment pretty quickly. So we'll see. It's, it's, I, I can't make any actual predictions. My job is to push them as hard as I can so they get a little bit on the wild side but we really do want them to go fast it is a challenge a bit like other shows where you know people have been going as as fast as they can against the clock for celebrities i think this is going to be just as as, as popular and of course being a front wheel drive car we're actually limited by our grip coming in and out of the corners but it's actually fun because it's electric it's got tons of torque and I think the real challenge is going to be kind of controlling their egos because if their egos get in the way, believe me, I've driven with so many sort of wealthy and celebrity people and all they do is kind of get all pumped up. So my prediction is, is that a woman will actually be the best that we have out here and that'd be kind of cool because I think it'll get all the male celebrities wound up to kind of beat them. So my job is really a glorified fluffer. <laughs>